Hi. Very exciting news. I just got some drum stuff in the mail. If you don't know, I recently moved and I set up the drum set that I've had for so long, but couldn't play. So I got some stuff uh, to sort of mute it a little bit to make it more playable and recordable. So I've got some little things. I've also got some bigger things. So I'm gonna try to put it together. I don't know how well this is gonna go because I, one, don't play drums, and two, have never um, set up drums, like taken the heads off and tuned them before, but I wanted to film it because I thought it would be a good idea. We'll see if it is. Let's go. So the first thing I had to do was actually take the drum kit apart. This wasn't super hard, it was just kind of tedious. So I had to unhook all the drums and make sure they were distanced and then take out the new heads. This is the tool I used. Uh, it's just like a drum screw. It fits into all the tuning pegs. This is taking out all of the new heads. Uh, I had Yamaha heads on top uh, already on the drums. These are Evans heads. They're double coated, so they should be a little more damp than the ones that were on them already. So this is me actually trying to take the heads off and put the new ones on. Uh, if you may not be able to see this, but I am definitely watching a YouTube video on how to do this because I've never done it before. Uh, looking on the other end, it's actually not too bad. You just sort of unscrew a thing, put a new thing on, and then screw it in. And I know um, a lot of the time, a lot of the videos said you were supposed to tighten them a certain way and like a star pattern crisscross. I think I just didn't do that for some of these, which is probably not the best, but regardless, uh, I got the job done and yeah. So with that one done, I could already hear a big difference in the sound. I wasn't exactly sure um, if it was good or bad yet, but it was definitely different. I think uh, the main difference was I just tuned these new heads a lot higher, so they were a lot tighter on the drum head. I was, um, all the videos that I was watching said it's a preference thing, and I think I liked them sounding really high and tight, so that's what I went for. This is the same process, just on the slightly larger tom of the three, sort of the middle tom. And yeah, here's what this one sounds like after the new head is tightened. That one sounded good to me, so on to the largest of all the toms. I have three in total. So this one is technically a floor tom, but it actually hooks onto one of the symbols that I have. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't touch the floor, but I would still consider it a floor tom because of the size. This one, again, same process. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. I think I started watching other um, non-drum videos while I was doing this just to pass the time, and here's what this sounds like. So this is actually what I was most nervous for, was this kick drum. So uh, it's the same process, it was just a lot bigger, so I, you know, I just thought there was more room for mistakes. <laughs> the other big difference uh, you'll see in a second, the new drum head actually has a hole in it. The reason for that is to dampen some of the sound. Uh, one, on its own, it sort of does that, and two, you can put things inside. So later on, I'm going to put like a towel in there. I have some other dampener stuff I'm going to put on the resonant head. But yeah, this was uh, a lot more intuitive than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to make a lot more mistakes. I also thought it was going to take a lot longer, but it was actually fine. It wasn't too bad. So this is after all the new heads are on. This is setting up the kit again. Um, roughly in the same spot. What you don't see is there's another YouTube video going again showing me how to set up a drum set because as I've said before, I am not good at this. I do not know how to do this. So this is me double checking to make sure the drum set is set up in the correct way. The biggest thing I noticed, something I'll have to fix, is the stool I'm using. The throne is uh, too small. I already adjusted it as high as it'll go. I'm just a little too tall for it, which, um, you know, I guess if there's anything I need to replace, the stool is the best thing, right? 
the snare drum I got for Christmas, so I didn't replace the head on it, but I did tighten it. Uh, it I made the tension a bit higher because uh, it was giving out some weird frequencies, and I just wanted to get rid of that. But the new uh, the head sounded fine because it was new; it hasn't really been used. I haven't looked up if it's like a good one or not, but it sounded fine, so I just decided to leave it. So this is me just making sure all the drums are in a good spot. Uh, the videos I was listening to, mainly Drumio videos. I really like, uh, I don't know the guy's name, but I like how he explains things. He makes me feel um, l like I'm not being talked down to, which is nice. He's very open to creative suggestions, which is cool. Uh, but he, something he stressed a lot was making sure everything is in an easy access spot. And especially me setting this up in a corner, I didn't want to turn and my elbow would hit the wall if I'm trying to... Uh, hit a certain drum with a certain arm. So I was being very careful to make sure everything is in an easy to reach space. So by the end of this, I actually pushed the drums out a bit further than they were. You'll see the door behind me leads to a bathroom and a sort of, um, it, it's no longer a good exit or entrance, I would say, but it's it's a sacrifice that's worth it. So now that the drum's set up, I'm going to do a little before and after comparison, uh, one with the new heads and then one with some dampening gel on the drums. Okay, here's what the finished set looks like. The new heads are on. That's great. Uh, snare drum head wasn't changed. Uh, it's a new one, so I just tightened it up a bit. Toms changed, and our kick has a hole in it, which is great. So the next, actually I'll turn around so you can see me. The next step is going to be, uh, I have some gels here somewhere. Okay, so I got these, which are uh, like drum gels. Very exciting. Those should dampen the sound, again, for like recording and stuff. I have an EQ patch for the kick drum, again, just to dampen it a bit. And then I'm gonna put uh, like some towels and stuff in the kick drum. So I'll give you a little before and after with the dampening. Here is the kit with no dampening, but new heads. Like I said earlier, this is me just like stuffing a towel inside of the new kick drum head. I also have the EQ patch that I'm putting on the resonant head that goes uh, where the beater strikes and it just cuts out some frequencies. So this is the kit with dampening. I've got uh, drum gum on the toms and the cymbals and the snare and I've got uh, a towel inside the kick drum and an EQ patch on the resonant head. So that's what this sounds like. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments, did you hear a difference between the old drum heads and the new drum heads and the new drum heads with and without the dampening? Also, my drum friends out there, let me know if I did anything wrong. As stated earlier, I don't know how drums work. I don't know what I'm doing here. Any respectful criticism would be more than welcome. Thanks. Like this video and subscribe to know when my next one comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye.